When the sun rises, I wake up and chase my dreams. I won't regret when the sun sets, cause I live my life like I'm a beast. What's up guys, just in the shop today. Want to kind of give you some updates. Got some mail. This gentleman right here sent me some stuff. Uh, Mr. Dwayne Backus. Anyway, it's pretty cool stuff. Looks like a um, rattle can rack. Towel holders. And this cool little, I've probably done like four videos on bead rollers. On, on bead rolling tubing. Every video I did was with a different tool that I've used or created. One was a you know hand tool. One was the actual bead roller itself. And then um, you think what the last one I did was uh, oh a tool that I bought. No, what was the last one I did? Anyway, so he's basically this is his version of a bead roller. Very cool thing. I'm guessing that this mounts in a vise. Sit down in there. Your tubing goes in here. You adjust it how you want it, and then just crimp it as you roll around the tubing. Pretty cool stuff. I'll definitely uh, put it to use here in the shop. Go check out Mr. Dwayne. Anyway, a couple updates on what's going on in the shop. I got the rear end out of the goose. I got it taken apart, pulled the axles out, and getting ready to pull the gear out of it. Like I said in the, one of my last videos, I'm gonna change the gear in that thing. I also ordered some parts for the C10. So, I got a drop block kit for the rear, uh, just a two inch drop block kit for the rear. I ordered some two and a half inch drop spindles for the front. And I also got uh, oh, a power uh, booster. The truck didn't have power brakes. It's got power steering, but no power brakes. So I ordered a, so I ordered a power booster and new mass cylinder. As soon as the drop spindles come in, I haven't got those yet. As soon as those come in, I'm gonna do a full video on the C10. We're gonna drop about two and a half inches, and then just kind of see what it looks like, what the tire clearance looks like, and we'll go from there. I may drop another inch or two, depending on you know, if I got enough clearance or not. What else? Finished the seat brackets in the goose the other day. Had a lot of comments on how I was mounting the seats. Uh, some of the comments were, you know, along the lines of, you're gonna fail tech, and that sort of thing, which I've never seen anybody fail tech for a passenger seat mount. I didn't realize that they teched passenger seat mounts in tech, but whatever. And, um, Went back and did some research to see, you know, what Kirky recommended on the Kirky seats. And really couldn't find anything, to be honest with you, except for the fact that they want you to use two bolts to bolt the back of the seat. Didn't anything about mounts or square inches, how much surface area, none of that stuff. I know with the Kirky seats in the Goose now I actually have a reinforced section in the back of the seat where my mount is. Um, I don't think I'll ever, ever have any issues with it, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'll probably bring that tab out another two inches on each side, just uh, just to be on the safe side, you know. And then I can actually mount the two bolts out there too, so. Anyway, it's dark right now. I've had a lot of people asking about the Shark Hide update. I'll be doing one of those soon, as soon as we've been having a lot of rain and stuff here lately, so um, as soon as it's daylight, whatever, I'll shoot one of those up. You can go follow me on, on Snapchat too and I'll try to snap those. So if you want updates on the Shark Hide or the car or any of the projects, go follow me on Snapchat. It's a good place, it's easy for me to upload stuff on a daily basis there. The Bibster, still on the list of things to do. Bibster right here. Bibster. Had forgot about it, took off those flanges. It's still in a holding pattern. Um, not really start ready to start on that thing yet. Very soon though, the goose is getting really close. The C10 will only be like a one day deal, so that shouldn't take up too much time. But um, get the goose done this summer, and then the Bibster probably be probably start on it this winter. Probably like fall winter project. 
rock and roll on this thing. The other thing that's nice about Snapchat is I like to do Q and A's every once in a while, and it's really the easiest thing for me to do just to ask for questions on Snapchat. And then you can ask them, and I'll try to answer them on the channel. I had a question the other day: What was my first car? The Goose was actually my first car. I bought that thing when I was in high school. Daily drove it for probably two years, and then. Um, I still drove it on the street a lot for the next probably five, six, eight years. Um, but I was all the time working on it and doing this and that, and I had another car to drive. So, uh, Kill Fab update. Got more hats coming soon. Uh, more Mr. D's hats and the Fab Form hats coming soon. They will be probably the next couple weeks. They're going to be on KillFab.com. I also got koozies coming. So, I'm going to have those for sale along with stickers but uh, my plans with the stickers and the koozies is really to try to give some away so what I'm probably gonna do is I'll probably do like you know a share giveaway kinda like I've done in the past I'm also gonna offer maybe stickers and koozies for free on any purchases of shirts on KillFab so I don't know I'm gonna try to be creative try to give a lot of that stuff away to you guys um, but those will both be available on KillFab.com coming very soon like I said, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I'll announce when those things are out and kind of give you a preview of what, what they look like. Um, I also have some new prints that just came out on KillFab. We have the uh, 67-72 C10 uh, front grille shirt that just came out. Um, what else do we have come out? We've had a couple different prints come out here recently, so if it's been a while since you checked it out, you can go take a look. What else do I have for you guys? Let's see. Another question I had was, what car do you miss the most? Um, I don't know, man. I've had a lot. And I have this problem with thinking I know exactly what I want. I build it, and then once I have it built, then I don't really want it anymore. What I've come to find is that I'm more interested in the creation of something versus owning it. You know, it's I don't want to possess it. I want to create it. That's kind of kind of where I'm at. That's kind of what I've learned about myself over the years. I do miss cars occasionally, you know, after I sell them. You know, I built a a single turbo coupe one time that I really liked. I sold it. I used to have a 93 Cobra. I love that car. It was a lot of fun to drive. It wasn't really fast, but it did have a lot of fabrication and that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, but really really nice car to drive. Really nice and clean. Drove really well. Looked good. So I missed that car. Um Man, I've had a bunch. I've had a bunch, you know. That's the kind of thing with the 84. Even after I get done with it, uh you know, on the Goose I'm not gonna get rid of it, I don't think, just because um, you know I'm really bad about buying stuff and d putting my touches on it and then moving on to something else. And I think the uh, black C10 I'll keep too. If I can get a thing to where I really like it, you know, get the power brakes in it, get it lowered, get the stance that I want, I'll kind of tinker with the motor. And then I think I might try to hang on to that one for a while. So, did you have any buddies to help you when you first started out with cars? Yeah, I mean I had, you know all kinds of buddies that used to kind of help me out um, a lot of a lot of the time though most of the time I'd say a majority of the time my buddies that would hang out with me were there trying to learn from me versus me trying to learn from them but you know there's been a lot of people along the way that's taught me things I've been really good about watching folks that that do things that I want to learn how to do and I just I, I learn from watching them not necessarily from them showing me I just kind of pick up on what they do and you know like I travel around to like Cutworm and uh, Michael Furick and all these guys that I go film at the shops when they're there working they're not really showing me how to do anything but I pick up on a lot of the stuff that they do and bring it home try it out myself and I learn that way you know learn on Instagram you just see things that kind of inspire you to do certain things obviously YouTube I'm a big YouTuber you know I love to watch YouTube so, anyway, alright guys, I think that's it. Just a short little Q 
catch you up on what's going on. Uh, I wanted to say to you, sometimes I do miss a Friday video every once in a while. The reason is because I want to make sure that I bring you guys really good content. Like when I bring you a tool video, I want to make sure it's a really good tool video. I want to make sure it's a tool that you can really use, that you're really going to like. I just don't want to bring you a tool video just to bring you, just to make a tool video. You know, I want to try to bring you, you know, a lot of value in my videos and not just do it just to do it. So last week I missed one. I uh, had a meeting down in Atlanta with you at YouTube or at Google's Google offices with YouTube, but you know, it was kind of a, I was on a Thursday, didn't have time to film and edit for Friday. So I'm gonna try not to miss, you know, those Friday videos, but just know that when I do, you know, it's not because I just didn't do it. It's just because I didn't prepare well enough to bring you guys a lot of value. And that's, that's really my, my goal on this channel is to bring you guys value. Give you a reason to watch the channel, you know what I'm saying? All right, I think that's it. I know I've been using a lot of Hustle Standard stuff on the channel lately. Um, love, love is music. It's very inspirational. I think it fits the channel really well. If you haven't, if you don't know who the Hustle Standard is, or you haven't heard any of the songs on the channel, um, or if you have, go check them out. I'll put a link in the description. It's uh, hustlestandard.com, I believe. You can buy all of, their, all of his music on there. He does some stuff with Rob Bailey. He's done some stuff with Jay Kill. All of it is just amazing. Amazing, amazing music. Um, I really appreciate him using, letting me use the music. But that being said, you know, I can't use this stuff forever. I mean, I'll use this stuff forever, but I mean, I can't use it on every video, right? So if you know anybody that is a musician, or if you're a musician yourself, I would love to listen to your music and possibly use it on the channel. So hit me up, tag somebody that's a musician, get them to hit me up, whatever. I'm easy to reach. I respond to you know all the comments. You hit me up on Instagram, I'll respond. You hit me up on Snapchat, I will respond. I need your music. Doesn't matter what genre. Most of the time I can make it work. But um, hit me up for real. I, 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 need, I need some variety out there. I don't really want to use the YouTube stuff. You know, I love hustle stuff. But man, I can't wear it out. I can't use it on every single video, you know? So help me out, fellas. Send me some music. I need some music. Get you some exposure too, right? Your music can be heard on the channel. Potentially hundreds of thousands of views. Alright guys, that's it. A little impromptu Q&A slash what's going on slash I need music. Anyway. It is Wednesday today. No, it is Tuesday today. So uh, I will have... Wednesday and Thursday, I try to put you guys a good Friday video together, and if that happens, I'll see you guys Friday. It's Friday, fool!